closed captioning of this program is brought to you in part by Jason's Adventure. It's not the end of the road, it's the start of the trail. Adventure North is brought to you in part by One Boats, Mercury Outboards, and Tourism Quebec. Welcome to Adventures North. I'm your host, Steve McGinnis, and this is a very special episode. This is actually the 20th anniversary episode of, uh, of our show. And I'm here with a couple of pals of mine, Jason Goche and Ryan Sproul. And we're looking forward to an unbelievable trip at Plumber's Great Slave. It's one of my all-time favorite and most regular visited destinations. And I'm anxious to get these guys out there on those fish. Oh man, I've been dreaming about going for Monster Lake Trail my whole life. And uh, finally this day's come and I'm really excited to get out here and test and go to battle with these guys. And how about you, Jason? What's going on? Well, I'm excited, Steve. First of all, just watching your show over the last how many years and seeing some of the times you guys went out with some of those guests. And I can't believe it that now I'm actually going to be going up to this great lodge, this great lake. Plumbers has been in business for 70 years, and I've been at the lodge for half of those years. So a little bit of line time on the water, and hopefully I'm going to be able to use it to your advantage on this trip. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. And you know what? 20 years of Adventures, Adventures North TV. And uh, what a better way to celebrate it than going to Great Slave Lake and going for some, uh, some grayling and some monster lakers. The fishing is so good here. If you have any knowledge at all, it's going to be rewarded. If you've done some laker fishing elsewhere, every way you like to catch lakers will work here. But I think there's a few other ways. We're going to show you a couple of those on this, uh, on this episode. The half hour flight from Yellowknife to Plumbers provides a bird's eye view of the subarctic terrain and lake dotted landscape of this part of the Northwest Territories. When we arrive at Tallfeely Narrows and Plumber's Lodge, a big breakfast and orientation session awaits. After unpacking and assembling the fishing gear, we head out onto the legendary waters of McLeod Bay in Great Slave's northeast arm. For me, this trip is all about showing my friends the great fishing and scenery in the area, so it's part guiding and part shooting the footage for this episode. It was back in the mid-70s when I first came here to be a fishing guide. And I remember vividly how awestruck I was with the beauty of this wilderness and the incredible fishery I've come to know over the last 35 years. After about a 10 minute run south of the lodge, we put our lines in the water and it didn't take long for the boys to hook up. Well, I'll tell you, you know, we're having a good time here, but wow, did he smack at 18 feet of water. Oh, deep you think that is, right? To see him that far down, maybe like 20 feet. Well, he's at least 15 feet there for sure, yeah. The power on this. Hey, listen, I'm not Tiny Tim here, I'll tell you. He's gonna be a bit of a battle. Nice silver. All right, there you have it, folks. That's the first fish for Goche. Ryan, Steve, hey. That's a cannon. That's more intense. Right on. A little bit of trout slime for you boys. Hey, I'll tell you right now, that's how we roll here in Great Sleeve. Yeah! Right Good on. job, Jay. Well, what happened, right? You said the luck what happened? <laughs> well, I was putting on my coat <laughs> and uh, kind of Jason my rod. Long story short, I've already missed four fish. And I gave Jason my rod to help me set the hook on this one. It's your first uh, lake trout here on Great Slave. How do you feel, buddy? I feel really good. This is a nice little fish. It's a good start. 
All right. Yeah, you know those trick things. <laughs> There we go. You know what? I'm excited for Ryan to get his first lake trout here in Great Slate, but for all the rest of the folks out here, I'll be having a seminar tonight in room 7 8. You want to come see it and learn how to catch a big lake trout. I'll tell you, I got it down pat. Coming up, you don't want to miss what's going to happen right here in the Northwest Territories. Steve McGinnis Adventures, what's going on, buddy? Well, now I've got something that's a little bigger than we've been catching. This one's definitely too big for the frying pan. It's also a new thing for these trout. They're learning how to bite something new. I'm predicting this one's in the teens. This could be a teenager. Pulling my drag. One of the lines I said on my very first show from here is this is the real me right now having a big lake trout on the line. That's kind of what I live for. Let's have a look. Let's pull them up and have a look. You know, fellas, I said it was a teenager, but it might be bigger than a teenager. It just might be. Oh, it's not even that big. Teenager. There's a great slave laker. That's what I'm talking about. Another nice slave laker, all right. Look at that baby. They fight like they're on steroids, these things. They always roll like that. Hey, thanks to good folks at Plumbers at Great Slave Lodge, Great Slave uh, Lake, putting us on some nice slave trail. And our guide, Mr. Steve McGinnis from the Adventures North Television Series. You know what? The guy can catch fish, but he can also put them on them too. Well, I'll tell you, I start off with a nice one, and then Mr. McGinnis had to put on a bit of a clinic and catch maybe, you know, a 20 pounder. Moving up the bar, and we're going to chase him. He's setting the bar at 20 pounds right now. We're sitting at 20. Wow, lake trout, some nice big ones. We saw, I saw the biggest lake trout I've ever seen today. Steve happened to catch it. He caught some nice ones. And then uh, while well, he's bringing this big one in, you know, we, we throw a couple tubes out, we start catching them. This is the first time I've seen lake trout hitting like this. Fish are absolutely smashing everything from Williams uh, spoons right to uh, Cabela's deep runners. Hey, you know, if you get a chance to come out to Great Slave, this is the place, it's unbelievable here. Uh, it's a little bit of effort to get here, but when you get here, well, we decided to throw out a couple uh, little spinners and chase some grayling and Shazam, 15 to 16 inch uh, grayling. The first day started off unbelievable. I'm excited about what the whole week's gonna start off because we're just fishing around camp right now. Can you imagine what happens when we get out there? Well, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to finish up the shore lunch and get back on the water. Speaking of shore lunch, uh, I'm waiting patiently and uh, let's have a look at what we got here. Unbelievable lake trout fishing, unbelievable scenery, good times, good people. You're a trout guy, that's the story, eh? That's right, that's right. Uh, fished up a great bear through plumbers. My biggest trout is 52 inches, but they're just as big out here, so we'll get after it this afternoon. As well, I'm hoping my good friend Pat here can uh, put some big fish in the boat. Previously, I've gotten all my lake trout from a grocery store, so <laughs> this is my first time ever ever actually catching them for myself. and. It's a little bit more fun growing them up and cooking them when, when you were the one to, to reel them in the boat, so it's a lot of fun. I cannot believe how these Great Slave Lakers slam it. They absolutely slam it. There's a nice one. Yeah, he's a nice looking fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, I'll grab him for you. Got him, buddy? Oh, he's still not done yet. Oh, it's a cannon. It's a 10, 12 pounder. Oh, he's not done yet. Not bad, eh? It's a good looking fight there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, look, he's bulldogging you there. Yeah, he's got some weight. Hey, listen, you think you got some weight? There's a big man on the end of this rod. I could run too, you know. <laughs> I could run too. All right, you're in the hands of Big Sexy. Come on, baby. 
And you see them for 12 feet down. It's so awesome. Yeah, look at them go. Yeah. Just about ready. Oh, hey, you know what? I don't often lose fish, but when I do, I like to lose Great Slave Lakers. <laughs> nice looking fish. Wow. Hey, <laughs> Ronnie, jump. Go. <laughs> that was like a marlin. Yeah, he's a tank. Nice fish, Ryan. Nice fish, buddy. I like the way he jumped out of the water like that, like he was a dolphin. You see that? Yeah, he, he's got some spunk on him right now. He's fighting. This is so much fun, and I should have been working this week, but I decided to come out and play with uh, Adventures North TV here and having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's starting to... He's starting to roll on me here now. Wow, look at that. Nice colors in that. Game. I don't even have a hook in him anymore. He's not even hooked? Nope. Watch it, buddy, watch it. Don't ever grab his line, they say. He's not ready yet. He's got some power yet. The fish over here at this point are a lot redder than the ones we were catching yesterday. Well, I guess the kid doesn't see anything from the Cloud Bay or something. I'm not sure, but it's a different, they're on a different side of the lake. Okay, he's tied up pretty good here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out here, Ryan. Look at that one, buddy. All right. Get you to unhook that. There, Ryan. Hold All right. You know what, Ryan? How lucky are we again? We've been out here at Great Slave Lake and having a blast. Awesome. Nice trout. I mean, and Steve said, like, this is a, a baby. So just I'm, pitching jigs. It's awesome. I'm happy as heck to catch fish like this. But Steve says we're gonna get a 50 pounder. <laughs> Let's go troll. Pretty good day yesterday, unbelievable. Yesterday was an amazing day. Fish were snapping all day long. Didn't oh. matter what we did. That. Yeah, that's unbelievable. And you know, the water's so clear. We even snuck up on a, on a, on a dozen lake trout, all just patrolling around the flats, looking nope. for bait fish. It was unbelievable. I've never fished with herring before. I think that's a salmon bait, but these trout were loving it. Yeah, for an artificial bait, it's uh, it's unbelievable. Fish yeah. loving. Like, what is it imitating, a cisco? It's imitating a cisco. It looks, it looks like a wounded cisco, the way it's, it, the way it's swimming in the water. And, they just, the lake, lakers find it irresistible. So it's a pretty cool bait. It's got a real slow roll to it, which seems to really drive the lakers crazy when they, they just come trucking up on it and they'll smash them. Well, it looks real, and he was happy last night because how many fish did he catch and he didn't have to change it. And what was funny is watching him, watching Steve when he's out here. At, when I, back at work and when he's in the office, he's all 100% business, and then he comes out here he's just like a school kid on a, on a, school, on a, on a day trip, right? Yeah, he's got a bit of a boyish grin to him right now. <laughs> Uh, Everything about this place is awesome. You know, the accommodations are great. The food's awesome. Uh, the service is great. The fishing's awesome. You know, there's, you know, it's just, it's beautiful out here. I mean, I haven't seen a white wolf in my entire life, and I saw one here in the first two days. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. Look at Action's this. quick, almost as quick as, uh, you know, an auctioneer. Hey there, Lake Truck, come down and put a line in the water now. Put it back on the way to come down to see the fish come on down. There he is. And he put the hook, I said, the hook in the window. There he is, but he let go and put it back in the water. When that fish went back in the water, put it back in the water, and dropped it. Steve said, oh, he dropped it back in the water. Bang, get it bit again. Here it comes. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Lake Truck. Woo! Now, you won't see that anywhere else, but right here with Jason Dean. Woo! That's a scrappy little guy. Listen here, it's me and you, and I'm hungry. All right, Mr. Fish, it's me and you. And I'm way stronger than you are. Nice looking fish, Jay. Get back in some more. Here, let's do it. Another Laker. How many times do you come and catch fish like this? Like, oh, it's unreal. Not too often. Come on, let's see what you got. Let's yeah, see. He's still got some fight in him. Oh, a nice Laker. That's a little heavy one. All right. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> come here, come here. Come here. All right, nice fish, man. Another one? Yeah, another one. That halfway's hot today, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's keeping today, that's for sure. <laughs> How many did you get today? Six already? Seven? And yeah. we only just started? Go. Look at the colors on that.
Nice fish. Boy, they're clean, eh? Very clean. Nice looking fish. Like, you know, back home, the little, the trout are, are smaller and they're dark bottom. Yeah. Like, this is, it's like it's just, it's almost like an yeah. Atlantic salmon. It's like a red fin. Look at that. It's nice. Whoop. <laughs> it's a nice release. <laughs> Want me to shake your hand on that one? <laughs> Good job, buddy. And that's how we roll right here on Adventures North. Woo! He smashed it. Come on, baby. Me and you. Come on up. There you go. Come on up. Watch your eyes, buddy. Watch your eyes. All right, right. Hey, you can't beat a better net man than that. With no net, there's a cannon. Nice looking fish, Jay. Right on. Whoop. Nice, beautiful trout. Give me a kiss. Come on, old girl. See what you got. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We didn't arrive in Yellowknife until midnight, and there was a plumber's a staff member there, and he happened to mention on the ride over uh, that uh, Steve McGinnis was going to be in camp with us shooting a TV show, uh, which got me even a little more excited for the trip to Plumbers, if you can get any more excited. Uh, I have been watching uh, Adventures North for many years on TV, which is one of the big uh, reasons that I made it up to Plumbers, Great Slave, Great Bear, and, and got hooked on lake trout fishing. So we had a great chance to meet with the Adventures North uh, crew, had shore lunch with them, uh, great guys, uh, gave us some great fishing tips, and uh, had a lot of fun with them out on the shore and out on the water. Seth has been rubbing elbows with some world-class lake trout fishermen for quite a while and has been telling me i got to get up to northern Canada with him, so I finally made it and it exceeded all my expectations. I actually caught a 43-pound fish and a bunch of trophy fish and uh, just had a great time. It's beautiful scenery, it's a beautiful part of the world, and, and it's just been the most fun I've ever had. Highlight of the week for me uh, was watching Pat reel in. 43 pound lake trout. Uh, his quote as he was bringing it up was, it's like reeling up an engine block and I will remember that line for the rest of my life. Well that was one of my highlights too. We had a couple couple triple headers today and getting up at four o'clock in the morning and dropping the line in the water and reeling up a 37 pound trout was, was another one of those highlights. It makes getting up early definitely worth it. It's beautiful. I mean you, you could come here and not fish and just sit and look outside and it's breathtaking. It's like a once in a lifetime experience, I think. I understand you caught a pretty big <laughs> one today. I did, I did. Tell us what that was like. It was, it was amazing. It was so exciting, so fun. Like, I can't believe I even did it. I, and I can't believe how big it was and I can't believe how much fun it was. And, I was just shaking. How big was it, by the way? It was 25 and a half pounds. It was gigantic. And I, it took every single thing I had to pull it in. And I had the greatest uh, guide on the boat. And, um, and, and then the, the person that I was with also, they totally coached me and helped me. And it was just amazing. I mean, at one point I said, you know, Someone has to take this, and, and they're like, "No, you can do it. You can do it. Breathe, breathe. <laughs> Just go on. You can do it. You can do it." It was so fun. So it was really exciting to get back into the dock and be able to talk about that and be all excited about it and brag just a little bit. Walk to your room, quickly freshen up and come in and have an incredible dinner. We had steak and potatoes and broccoli and the best cheesecake I think I've ever had. Great accommodations, um, great food wonderful staff, so very impressed. Sum it up in one word. Amazing. Well, Ryan, Yellowknife and uh, Northwest Territories, we had a good time uh, the one evening, and uh, there were three great days of trout fishing. Uh, 
that great slave lake is unbelievable crystal clear the fishing was great i don't know how many big fish we caught how many big lake trout the fishing out there was just spectacular uh, lake trout uh, it didn't matter what we did it was uh, the fish were snapping uh, you know we can go out and troll and we'd get bites if we want to go pitch jigs we, we were catching catching lakers the whole time and not to mention the grayling fishing. The grayling fishing was another thing that was just unbelievable. And they're, they're, they're big, they're world-class fish. We caught five fish in five casts and probably missed five in the other five, didn't we? Yeah, it was un unreal. And the, and the beauty, beauty of it all was uh, when we could actually sight fish for a lake trout. Like, how wow. often can you do that? And uh, so we're sitting in the boat, and all of a sudden, Jason says, hey, look, I, I can see a laker right over there. And all I see is sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Three jigs, all of us casting on the same laker. That trout was, it was looking back, <laughs> looking back like that. Like, what you Unbelievable. Uh, the herring was working good, the spoons were working good. Yep. Jigging was working good. Just about everything we threw at him would work. I'll never forget this trip. This is the most northern place I've ever been to and the most, uh, I guess you say, exotic trip I've ever been on. The scenery was fantastic. The food was fantastic. I can't say enough about plumbers. I'm definitely thinking about going back there. I'm really looking forward to watching the show and seeing, uh, seeing us on TV and see how it all turned out. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for letting me come out and we had a great time. Until next time, our adventure never ends. I mean, I haven't seen a white wolf in my entire life and I saw one here in the first two days. I should write a song. White wolves of Great Slave. Hey, it's hot, white wolf on the great slave lake, had a lot, a lot of fun, and we're gonna take. Went back down and looked at it again, that it was gone. <laughs> it was sad. Uh, we didn't time to work on it. Yeah.